Hey guys, this is Kyle at .edu Guru. Just wanted to spend a few minutes and show you exactly why it is that I like NetVibes so much. So, I'm going to open up a new window here. Go to the NetVibes homepage. And as you can see, here's what a page looks like for someone who doesn't have an account yet. Lots of options load up. We've got weather, we've got a dig page that you can kind of come and pull different things. It's just a really cool widget. It's got Google News in here. We did different news from business, U.S., world. We've got Flickr, most interesting photos displayed. You have a little web notes, kind of like sticky notes, a to-do list, a little search. We've even got other tabs up across the top. We've got a internet tab where we can go set up an email account to pull into NetVibes, set up a Facebook widget or an eBay widget. And then there's a fun tab here where Looks like we can come and play Pac-Man. It's taking it a few minutes to load. There's a podcast where we can listen to podcasts right in through, right here through the interface. And here's a video search. And all that's right in through the, the interface. Let me sign into my NetVibes account and kind of... give you an idea of some of the things I use it for. And here you'll see some of the same widgets. Here's the weather for, for Duncan where where my house is and I've got a Facebook widget and I've got a Flickr search widget set up down here. I'm going to go search for something on Flickr if I just need a picture for something. Pull in a, I can pull in multiple Gmail accounts. That's pretty cool and handy. Pull in a Twitter feed. I've got a feed that pulls in the latest activity from university web developers. I've got my New Orleans Saints. I've got a bookmarking widget here. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of different tabs across the top. If we go look at this blog, you'll see that I've got a whole bunch of some higher ed blogs I follow here. Uh, just some other blogs. And then this whole right-hand column is nothing but Wofford blogs that I keep track of kind of give you an example why this page is loading. As you can see as it starts to load, it starts to fill in some numbers on some of these tabs. Um, say I wanted to go add a new feed to NetVibes. How would you go about doing that? So just to give you an example, I'm going to go back to .edu Guru and of course you'll notice that the little RSS feed up here in the top of of Firefox and it's pretty similar on on Internet Explorer and you know, browser browser. We've also got a subscribe bar here where I can go subscribe and looks like that's down right now. How about that? Well anyway, we'll just come and click on the little RSS icon. Give that a second to load. Come on. Well, while that's loading, we're going to come back and kind of show you. Well, there it is. So I can just come in here and copy and paste this feed. Come here to add new content. Add a feed. And, of course, we can browse categories if you want to find something that's maybe already in the system. You can see all kinds of stuff. Essential widgets. These are some of the widgets that we saw. There's a dig widget. Calendar widget. Web notes widget. You know, MySpace widget, Twitter widget, Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo. But let's just come in here and add .edu guru. And it'll take it a second here. And it loads it. And, and once you do, it says click here to add widget to your page. So you just would drag it onto your page. And then we can close this. And you can see it pulls in the last 15 feeds. And we can come in here to edit and I can you know kinda just choose how many to display on the feed I can rename it I can open directly on the side or not this is kind of an option I usually like to do you can tell it to show more details you can see it kinda brings out a little blur above it or not I prefer not to do that and I'll, I'll show you why because when you actually highlight over it it kinda brings out that blur for you just a way to keep your screen a little bit cleaner click OK here and say I wanted to read one, I would just click on it and, and it would open in a new window. And take me directly to the article I wanted to read. 
as you can see it grays it out now I've only got 14 say there's a whole bunch of stuff but I'm really not interested in reading any of it but I'd like to make it look like I, I've read and I can just click on this read all and it takes that away and now it appears as if I've read everything in that feed you could even come in here and change the the color of it to kind of give them a little bit different you know look to kind of help you separate I've done that with some of my my Wofford ones even with the tabs you can kind of come in here and, and set your icon and and share your your tabs and change how many columns I mean there's rename it there's lots of whole lot of options you can really do in NetVibes it, it really makes it completely customizable and personal because you can see I've got a whole list of tabs across the top you might have a whole completely different list where I'm interested in some tech news and some analytics and some other web analytic blogs and, and Braves blogs you might be interested in something completely different just to take you to, to another tab here I've got a tech news where I bring in read white web tech crunch mashable wired the chronicle but but as you notice that you know it, it kind of separates this out where I'm not looking at that where I'm looking at blogs or, or other things and when you can come in here in settings to kind of help the load on your computer you can you know tell performance to only load modules for current tab because you can imagine this can get to be quite a memory hog this whole system and we've got other options we can change the language if we want we can play around with themes if you have a specific theme that you'd like to look at you know everything from Halloween to I just kinda keep it simple I just want my information but it's definitely completely customizable you can put a background wallpaper or a bottom wallpaper to, to help give your home page a little bit different more fun of a look and it's all Web 2.0 Ajax you know coolness because you can see I can just kind of drag and really organize things how I want and you know pull it down I could leave them all like that and the system remembers and keeps track of all your preferences just to, to give you another example and I'll, I'll get into this in another post that I'm writing hopefully for next week I've got a whole bunch of Wofford tracker that, that any time that Wofford College is, is in any of these news feeds I can kinda keep track of it and I'll show you later on how to pull these kind of feeds so you can track your name or whatever you want to track your institution or keep up with something and it's nice because here it tells me when the story was and what the story is and if I want to read it you know to keep up just click on it and that's just a quick overview of NetVibes hope you found this useful and thanks for watching